gaffer. One all here against Ipswich, and I don't think we can start anywhere else but that goal from Sean Morley. Is it a goal of the season contender, do you think? Well, we can start somewhere else. We can start with the first five minutes. It wasn't very good. Um, but after the first five minutes, then it become an even game in the first half. Uh, but the first five minutes, I thought they were excellent. Played with a good tempo. Um, and uh, I thought deservedly took the lead. Then it took the wind out of ourselves a little bit. But we got our way back into the game in the first half. It was important then we didn't probably concede another before half time because I think that would have been game done then. But I think in the first half it was a pretty equal game. I think into the second half uh, we changed shape slightly. We couldn't get enough pressure on the ball. Um, so we made a change. Sean's very good. Um, at landing on second balls and uh, there was a few times where we played the ball forward too long too early and didn't need to do that but it had become a little bit one of those games and um, Sean can do that he can land on second balls and uh, you know thankfully he landed on that one today and it was a, it was a great finish In the rest of the first half you said it was a very even game but they had a very strong first five minutes yeah. how well do you think your side did to nullify that threat past that five minute mark it wasn't so much about nullifying the threat it was actually when the ball turned over it was about us keeping it a little bit longer and that that was a big thing you know if you if you can keep possession it doesn't matter how good the other team are if you can keep possession or get hold of the ball and, and get possession then potentially you know it takes that takes that heat out of the game we we probably didn't do that well enough certainly early on but i know in the first five minutes it becomes a little bit ding dong like that in most games and um yeah, so I think I think certainly after that first five minutes, then we came into the game and could have scored a couple of goals ourselves before half time. Mm. When that red card happens, there's 15 minutes to go, the goal down. What's the message? What sort of instructions do you give your players when you're in that position? It was probably the same as what it was at half time, which was up the tempo, up the tempo. And I was, you know, I was sat there. First of all, you need to see what shape they're going to go into, and then are you going to change shape? based on what they're doing and we were going to make a substitute with Seiko he was going to come on and we were going to change shape but after that we didn't want to change shape so I'm glad I didn't make the substitution because I know I would have had to change back to what we finished the game with so you know I think that's why you know when the when the red card happened we needed to make sure that we did get some tempo into the game, but keep our same formation. Whereas if we'd have gone to a four, we would have done them a favour by going to a back four. And that that allowed us to get a little bit more control and then attack with our outside centre-backs. OK, so it was the outside centre-backs having the three at the back that you felt was quite key into those last five minutes and helped you, you know, Cause get back in the trouble. Game. Yeah, get back yeah. in the game. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. I think so, yeah. Okay. You mentioned the other chances earlier. JD got 65 minutes and he had a, a great chance there with a header as well. How do you rate his performance today? Um, well, OK. I mean, I don't ever want to talk really about individual performances because, really, if we're going to be brutally honest, you know, if his performance would have been 10 out of 10 today, I'd have left him on the pitch, wouldn't I? So, you know, was his performance 10 out of 10? No. But was it 5 out of 10? No, he was better than that. And don't forget, you know, he doesn't always play a lot of football. He's in the squad. Um, but one thing JD does, whenever he comes on the pitch or whenever he's picked, he always gives his all. And um, it was going to be one of those games today where we needed to make sure that we were mobile against Ipswich. Because if we weren't mobile today, then they will beat you. And then just finally from me, no Ethan in the squad today, I assume because of that knee injury. Yep. What's the latest on him? Just that knee injury. Um, whether he plays any more this season, I don't really know the answer to okay. that. I found it. Well, we wish him all the best. Thank, Thank you, Gaffer. you. Thank you.